In this step, we will create or reuse our insurance service interface and implementation classes that we already created in our previous lesson. Looking at our generated Spring Boot SOAP server application, we see that we only have the SOAP server application, so we will get our insurance service interface and implementation from our previous tutorial. Here we are back in our original SOAP service tutorial, so we will copy the insurance service and insurance service impl classes. Paste them into our Spring Boot application. We will repeat the process for our SOAP service endpoint. Paste it in. Before we move on, let's review some of our annotations here. First, the add endpoint registers the class with Spring Web Services as a potential candidate for processing incoming SOAP messages. The add payload route is then used by Spring Web Services to pick the handler method based on the messages namespace and local part. The request payload indicates that the incoming message will be mapped to the method's request parameter. The add response payload annotation makes Spring Web Services map the returned value to the response payload. A cool feature if you need to learn more is IntelliJ's built-in decompiler, which means you can right-click and select go to declaration and you will see the decompiled class of this annotation payload root and everything that's included and what it brings with it. Now on to our next step where we'll create the configuration class that will contain all our required spring definitions or spring beans with annotations and this is one of the main differences between spring boot and our maven archetype project in spring boots all of your spring bean and related configurations is contained in a configuration class which we will now create so let's create our new web service config class Our class will extend the WS Configurer adapter. We will define it as a configuration class. We will also enable Spring Web Services. First, we will configure the servlet registration beam. Accept the application context as the parameter. Set the application context. Set transform whistle locations to true. Remember that in our previous tutorial, we also defined this in our servlet context XML file. So we've set up our servlet. Now we're going to define our default whistle definition bean. We're going to pass in the insurance schema XSD file.
Now we are going to set the port type name, location URI, and target namespace. Now we'll set the schema that we passed in. We're returning our whistle definition beam. Of course, defining it in the annotation. Because that is where we want to serve up our whistle. And it looks like we also need to define our insurance service schema beam. Magically the red goes away once we define our schema beam. And that is it, that's all our required bean definitions for our Spring Boot server application. We have now reused our insurance service, insurance service impulse, and insurance WS endpoint class from our previous SOAP service tutorial. We also created web service config, a configuration class where we defined our servlet registration bean, our default whistle definition bean, and our XSD schema bean. In the description of this YouTube video, you will find a link to my Udemy class where you will be able to download the source code.